So the SNP MP, Joanna Cherry, has been cancelled from her gig at the Edinburgh Fringe, uh, a venue called The Stand, although clearly it isn't making a stand for anything. A venue called The Stand has cancelled her because of her transphobic views. She has spoken out against gender self-ID. And this is what she had to say. This is an affront to free speech and it's also discriminatory. And it is. It is an affront to free speech and it is also discrimination. This is what so many of us have been uh, challenged with for the last, in my case, decade or so, is venues pulling. Despite, for example, recently in Stafford, where I've sold out to 500 people and they've paid for their tickets, those people don't get a voice. The venue cancels just like that because the council applied pressure and the venue wants council funding. Uh, lesbian feminists and women such as myself are being prevented from speaking in public about our views. Which I understand, a lesbian feminist, which is what Joanna Cherry is, is being prevented from speaking. But my question is, do you need a label, lesbian feminist, SNP, MP? Do you need those labels to be allowed to speak? Are you only allowed a view if you have one of these special labels, lesbian feminist? And then in the top trumps, the hierarchy of these labels is trans. So if you're trans, that basically top trumps everything. And I guess my question to Joanna Cherry would be, does this only matter now because it's happening to you? Would you, for example, back my right to do my stand-up show, which is just laughter, mostly at me, or is it just you that should have the right to speak because you're a lesbian feminist? You know, this is the kind of thing that went on in East Germany under the Stasi. I don't expect it in a democratic country like Scotland, particularly not in Edinburgh, the home of the Enlightenment. And it's funny that she doesn't realise that it's happening in the UK because it's been happening to the rest of us for a very long time indeed. And I'm guessing it didn't affect Joanna, so Joanna didn't speak out about it. You know, it didn't affect me, so I continued to self-preserve for another day. And I'm not attacking her. She has been cancelled. It's just that it took people a long time to catch up, doesn't it? She says it's like Stasi Germany. Well, yes, I know. People that speak of inclusivity, people who speak of positivity, they're only inclusive or positive as long as you think exactly the same thing as them. As long as you agree entirely with every single thing they think. And the hierarchy of that is that you must think the same on trans issues. And it doesn't even count if you're a lesbian and a feminist because that's not enough. It's been like this for such a long time. And Joanna, bless her, is just realising it. What she's also been shocked by is the cowardice of the venue, the cowardice of people around her. And she's been shocked by people telling her they agree with her in private, but in public, they'd rather keep a low profile and say nothing to self-preserve for just one more day. And also in my case, at the Edinburgh Festival Fringe, which was supposed to be a venue for all and eclectic and accommodating all sorts of different uh, artistic freedoms. You hear there, she says, especially at the Fringe, which is supposed to be a venue for all and an eclectic bunch and all different kind of artistic freedoms. Well, those really are just badges that are meaningless because unless you agree with what everybody else thinks at the fringe, unless the staff at the venue approve of all of your thoughts, even if you had them 10 years ago, or one quote that was taken out of context, unless the staff approve of you, the venue can just pull. And it feels like Joanna Cherry is just waking up to all that. There is no joy in this. There is no joy in seeing someone else be cancelled, but there is a kind of reinforcement of the pattern that we see over and over again, which is venues being able to pull ticket holders who have had the freedom to choose taken away. They don't even get a voice. A staff are used as the uh, excuse for why a venue has decided to pull because they respect their staff. Why not just get in some other staff that will do their job for money? And also her kind of surprise, almost her shock at the cowardice of people who say they're right behind her, except they're so far b behind her, you know, they're not willing to be seen in public. I totally empathise. I wish her well. I support her in speaking out against gender self-ID, but perhaps it is 
to truly open-minded people like my lot on our side who just want everyone to be okay. Maybe she's looking for support in the wrong places.